Hello guys, uh, welcome back to MedZone African Motives, still on mathematics, grade 12 uh, revisions. Uh, in this platform, we shall be focusing uh, on functions. Uh, actually, we have a question which is under uh, hyperbolic functions, that is a hyperbola uh, that we are given that you're going to focus on. Uh, you took this question paper. I took this question actually from the question paper of um, September 2020, that is uh, the Eastern Cape paper, which is one of the good uh, departments that I always want to work on. There's good questions. Uh, if you are to consider their questions, they're actually good questions. So without wasting much time, guys, we are given question number four. Uh, F of X is given as A over X minus one plus three, where A is an element of, uh, uh, which is a sub element of these uh, numbers, which is the real, or all the, natural numbers, all the numbers that we can think of, uh, that is the integers, actually the Z there representing the integers. So all the integers that we have, then A is part of that. 4.1 we are given, write down the equations of the asymptotes of F, okay? We need the equation of the asymptotes of F. Check out the equations of the asymptotes here. I can just even wake it aside here. We are taking them from one, the value of X, from x plus uh, x minus one that we have, we just have to equate that one to zero. So x minus one is equal to zero. So x is going to be equal to one. So that's the first one. Then for y, you are taking the value that is being added to the function, which is three. So y is equal to three. So take note, if you are given your function of for f of x as a, a over x minus p plus q, the asymptotes, will be x is equal to p and y is equal to q, just like that. So that is the format that we are taking from a hyperbola. Okay, the 4.2, determine the x and y intercepts of f in terms of a. Take note, we are given in terms of a. So we need the x intercepts and the y intercepts. So the first thing, we need our function here, which is, uh, so this is 4.2. We are given that our f of x, uh, is equivalent to a over x minus one plus three. All right, so for these ones, uh, we need the x and the y intercept. So let's start with the x intercept here. Uh, so for the x intercept, we actually know that y it will be equal to zero for that one. So if y is equal to zero, it simply means that your f of x is equal to zero. So we are going to have zero is equal to uh, a, over x minus one. So it's going to be a over x minus one plus three. So what you need is to solve for x. Uh, remember, we want the value of x. We're going to solve for x in terms of a. All right, so what can we do to solve for x? We're gonna transpose the three to the other side of the equation so that it can be a negative on the other side, which is the left-hand side. So we've got negative three, which is equal to a over x minus one. So this is just a normal equation, guys, that you are used to. Negative three is same as over one. So we can be able to cross multiply to remove the fractions here. So by cross multiplying, negative three is going to affect everything that we see here on x minus one. So that means it's going to be negative three times x, which is negative three x. Negative three times negative one, which is positive three, is equal to one times a, which is a. All right, remember we want to calculate the value of x. What are you going to do? You're going to transpose the negative three, the three to the other side of the equation so that it can be a negative here. So it's going to be minus three on that side. All right, so that means we'll be left with negative three x, which is equal to a minus three. Since we want the value of x, definitely we are going to divide each and every term by negative three. So if we divide each and every term by negative three, this will cancel. So x is going to be one, over negative three a, which is the same as minus one over three a or minus a over three. So this is same as minus a over three. All right, the negative three and the negative three will cancel that will be a positive one. So it's going to be a positive one like that. Okay, of which minus a plus one, just like uh, minus one plus two is same as two minus one. So minus a over three plus one is the same thing as writing as one minus a over three. So that's our x intercept. So you can write it as a point. Uh, the value of x is one minus a over three. The value of y at that moment was a zero. So that's your x intercept. Okay, so we've got our x intercept here. 
All right, we move on to the y-intercept on uh, this case. All right, so to find uh, the y-intercept, we know that x will be equal to zero for that moment. So you just have to substitute the value of x into the expression that you're given. That means here we are going to have y is equal to a over, in place of x, we've got a zero, so it's zero minus one plus three. All right, so y is equal to zero minus one, that's minus one. Or you can just prove, guys, on your calculator. Most of you, you love to work with calculators. Just use your calculator, get a negative one. So this is going to be a over minus one plus three. All right, of which a over minus one is just like minus a, just like a, uh, four over minus one, it's minus four. So it's the same thing. A over minus one is same as minus A plus three. Okay, so that's your y-intercept. Well, you can just start with the positive, just like what we did here, we started with a positive one. So we can also start with a positive three, which is three minus A. So that's your y-intercept. You can write it in point form. The value of X there was a zero and y is three minus a. So you can even write it in point form. So that was uh, for the x-intercept and for the y-intercept uh, for the given hyperbola or hyperbolic function that we had. All right, let's check the 4.3. Given that a is equal to minus one, draw a neat sketch of f. Clearly show all the asymptotes and the intercepts with the axis. All right. So we are given a condition that our a in this case is equal to one. So that means we can have numerical values here because we did not have, we need to sketch. Okay, so what are you going to do? Uh, this was 4.2, all right. So let me just write here, this was 4.2. All right, so on 4.3, what we are going to do is to check the value of a that we are given and substitute into the equation or into the values that we are given. Since we are given that, a is equal to minus one. So let's start with the x-intercept. The x-intercept, all right, let's do this here. The x-intercept was at a condition uh, whereby we are given that it's a uh, one minus a over one minus a over three. And we have the value of a as a one. So which means if we substitute a one here, we are going to have one minus one over three, one minus one over three, of which you can uh, use your calculator. Is this the value of X? All right, that's one minus A over three. Yes, that's it. So uh, let's see if we are to apply this on our calculator, what are we going to have? So that's one minus one over three which is two over three. So this is actually going to give us two over three. All right, what is the value of A here, guys? I'm, 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 I'm like, all right, the value of A is minus one. That's why it doesn't make sense to me what is happening here, because I had something else and I'm seeing something else. All right, the A that we have, that's a negative one here. All right, anyways, uh, I hope we actually saw that what is happening here. So it's A over three like that. All right, so which means we're gonna have one minus our a, which is negative one over three. So definitely a negative and a negative is going to give us a positive. So it's one plus three over four now. No, one plus one over three. One plus one over three, which is four over three. So we shall have our x as uh, four over three. So this is the value of x at the x intercept, which is four over three. All right, what about the y intercept? Uh, the y-intercept, we took it from the value of y, which is equal to, remember, your y was 3 minus a. So y is going to be 3 minus the value of a, which is minus 1. So it's going to be minus, minus, which is a plus, which is 4. So y is equal to 4. So you have your y-intercept here, your x-intercept. Remember, this is a uh, hyperbola. And if we are to take our function back to where it was here, it was a over x minus one. So we are going to write our f of x like this so that we can be able to sketch it fine. Our f of x is going to be a over, which is minus one over, uh, that was uh, x minus one, x minus one plus three. All right, so we have the asymptotes. Remember our asymptotes were at x is equal to one. Our asymptotes were at x is equal to one and 
y is equal to three. So here, the, the negative of the exponent, the negative of the numerator that we see there, it actually determines the shape. If it is a negative like that, therefore we shall see our shape in the second quad in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant like that. Or you can even cross the x-axis depending with the asymptotes. All right. So the first thing that you're supposed to indicate are the asymptotes. All right, we know the shape now. So let's see what you're going to have later on. Okay, let me just in Please again here, all right, I just need to see these values. So we are going to have something of this nature uh, as your x-axis and as your y-axis here. All right, the asymptotes, we have them at x is equal to one and y is equal to three. So x is equal to one, we can just uh, see is somewhere here, that's zero, one, two, three, four, and so on, negative one, negative two, negative three. So x is equal to one is at this moment. So we shall have an asymptote here. So at x is equal to one, it must pass through this line. That's x is equal to one. And another one at y is equal to three. So you're gonna have maybe y, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So three is somewhere here. So we shall have the asymptote at this point here like that which is at y is equal to three, passing at three. So you can even draw these as uh, continuous lines, it's fine, or you can even draw them as broken lines, all right. So looking at the shape that we have, we are supposed to have uh, a certain shape on this quadrant here. Remember the shape that we say it is going to be somewhere like this, all right. But it must pass through the points that we indicated here, the x-intercept at four over three. So four over three as a decimal is something like uh, four divided by three. That's one comma three, 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 and so on. So which means one comma three, three, three can be somewhere here. That's where we can have our four over three. All right, so let's just say this is where our four over three. And the y-intercept is at y is equal to four and y is equal to four. Let's say it's at this point here. So the graph is going to be like this. It won't reach they are simple thought, so it will be as if it wants to approach, but it won't approach the asymptotes like that. All right, so that's what we are going to have. The same thing here, we shall have our function from this side to the point four three, four over three, and it will be as if it need, wants to approach the asymptote, but it will not reach that asymptote. All right, so that is your F, so you can even uh, indicate here f or you can indicate on the other one but that's your f this function so that was the sketch so the question is to sketch the graph so when sketching the graph all you need are the necessary requirements the necessary points that you're given all right so that was it and uh, as you can see it's pretty easy uh, it just needs you guys to work on much questions revisions as i always say that you have to revise as much questions as possible all right Let's check the other part of the question, 4.4. The graph of F is shifted three units to the left and two units down, write down the equation of the, write down the new equation of F in terms of A. All right, this is our function in terms of A here that we are given on four. Okay, I'm just gonna write it down here. We have a space here. All right, our normal function of F of X was given as A over X minus one plus three. All right. Now what is happening? We are going to shift this graph, this graph that we see here, three units to the left. So whenever you are dealing with the x-axis, you oppose what is happening. Okay, this is our x-axis. And we actually know that when we are going to the left, that is this direction, that's L to the left. Maybe we are going uh, four units, five units. So this is the left side and that's the right side. So you oppose, originally it looks like, actually is we are going to the negative, but when you are substituting the value, you oppose the sign that you're given as long you are dealing with X, you oppose what is happening, you oppose the sign that is given. So the sign is a negative because it's shifted to the left. So you oppose the negative, which means you are going to add, it's now a positive three. So you're going to add three, to x, all right. Then two units down, whenever you're going down, it's affecting the value of y. So going down in terms of y, there you just take as it is. So for, for y, you do not change anything. 
So that's what you have whenever you are dealing with Y, do not change anything. So which means uh, what is happening is going down. So it's going to be a negative, you're going to subtract. So the two units in terms of Y, you are going to affect with a negative to the value of Y. And the value of Y that we are referring is this three, that is the value of Y. All right, so that means our new function can be written as f of x is equivalent to, so this is f of x is equivalent to a, remember we are told in terms of a, so a is going to remain over x, on x we are going to add three, so here we've got x, we're going to add three, so it's x plus three, but already if we are to check on our x, there is already a negative one which is there, so we subtract that one which is already there. All right, then we move on to the y value, which is three. We say to the y value, we are going to subtract, that's a negative two. So we are going to subtract the two on y. All right, so that is the new function that we are going to have or the new equation. So f of x is going to be given as a over two uh, here from three minus one, that's two. So it's going to be x plus two, uh, three minus two, that is a one. So this is the new function that we are now having, which is f of x is a over x plus two plus one. So that was uh, actually the typical uh, approach that we are supposed to have. So as you can see, guys, that was the question on uh, hyperbola. I encourage you guys to work on more questions, revisions, know all of your functions from the parabola, hyperbola, the exponential function, the log function, know all your functions, how to sketch, and how to work with the questions that you'll be given. So that's it, guys, from Amazon African Motives, still on mathematics, grade 12 revisions, till we meet again.